Warning, you are about to enter the BGP suite. No thongs, no boy shorts, no thigh highs, no commandos are permissible. BGP, big girl panties only. So pull up to woman up. And no, please don't leave with your panties in a bunch. Welcome to BGP. Um, today we will be discussing Royce Reed. Um, in case you don't know who Royce Reed is, she is a former cheerleader, uh, I believe, for the Orlando Magic basketball team. Um, she's also she also shares a child with um, Dwayne. Oh, sorry, not Dwayne. Dwight Howard, um, who I believe currently plays for the Lakers. Now he used to play in Orlando and quite a few other teams. Um, she, sh she shares a son with him, and recently, um, about the week after, the week before last, um, she turned herself in, um, and she was charged with, a, what is it, second degree child neglect. Um, reason being is, a few years back, um, her son was caught doing inappropriate things with another minor child. And as a condition, um, it was it was it was established. It was put in place that her son is no longer allowed to be around minors uh, younger than him. Um, he also has to go through uh, therapy because he likes to, you know, do things with minor boys. Um, so recently, while he was going through his therapy, he shared with his therapist that um, he was triggered. Recently, something happened that caused him to be upset and triggered. And the way that he deals with it or he dealt with it was he made um, we'll call them because since they're not married, we'll call them. Um, well, I won't say half uh, step siblings. I won't say that um, since they're not married. But Royce's current boyfriend son, he made her current boyfriend son jack him off. And um, that was his way of relieving his anger. So once he shared that with the therapist, she then had to report it. And um, this, again, kind of caused, you know, Royce Reed to have to turn herself in because she dropped the ball. She didn't she wasn't supposed to leave him unattended with minors. And she did. Um, and of course, she had to find out through the therapist and through the cops showing up. Um, so my question to you guys and I'll start with you, Adrian, is if you know that your child has an issue, it's been discovered that he has an issue, um, what steps would you take to protect your son and any other future kids that may happen to come around your son? Mm -hmm. That's deep. Mm -hmm. um, clearly, there is some supervision that has to be there at all times. Um, if he if he is doing things to that extreme, my question is, I always want to go deeper. This kid has been molested someplace, somewhere, in my opinion, that he is now acting out in this way. Every person that I know who has ever experienced, um, not every person, some of the people that I have dealt with in the past that have dealt with uh, child molestation act out in that way. Um, because a couple of reasons is because your body, um, even though you're young and it should not, uh, because you should not be, um, dealing with those type of feelings, your mm -hmm. body still responds to those, those way that, that feeling mm -hmm. and you begin to desire that. And I've heard this from people that I have counseled that a lot of times your body is desiring that stimulation because it has been touched inappropriately and now it's there in your psyche. So extensive therapy, absolutely needed and major supervision. I would not leave him unattended at all, um, at all. I, I don't remember the age of this young. He's 14 He's now. 14, yeah, see. It, it, yeah, he needs some major supervision, and she should be held. She's what a DCFS would consider failure to protect. Mm -hmm. um, she is responsible mm -hmm. when you know you have a child that is suffering like this and, and dealing with these time, type of issues. You 
are responsible to ensure that the safety he's safe and the safety of kids that he's around, they're okay, you know. Mona, what was, what steps would you take to, you know, protect your son and those other minors around him? <clears throat> this is a reoccurring issue. Mm -hmm. So me as a mother knows that this is something that my son does. This is the way he acts out and he's struggling with this. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do is not be in denial. Yes. The f second thing I'm going to have to do is not be embarrassed to let people know mm -hmm. if they ever come in contact with my son, be that transparent person to let friends, family, strangers know mm -hmm. that my son is uh, around, that he does have a problem. Mm -hmm. Because the court order was for him to stay away from children two years younger than him, mm -hmm. specifically little boys. Mm -hmm. I need to go th through some therapy to be able to deal with this. N I, I couldn't imagine as a mother the feelings that I would have that my child is going through this and thinking of where I went wrong or where I messed up. Mm -hmm. Like Adrian said, uh, for the majority of child abuse people, abuse people, abuse people. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I'd have to be in therapy. My son would mm -hmm. have to be in therapy. And I might have to keep my son away from children until... Period. The mm -hmm. court-appointed therapist lets me know that it's okay for him to be around children by themselves. And I think she did her boyfriend a disservice by not letting him know the problem. Mm -hmm. She was more concerned with keeping that man than she was mm. with keeping her son in her life and keeping her son healthy and anybody around him healthy. She should have let that man know, my son has a problem. Mm. And we need to have him and your son under supervision at all times. Or when you come visit me, make sure you don't bring your son. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. I, I, I tried to put myself in that position, like how I would handle it. And I was like, whew, like de therapy is definitely important for him. Extensive therapy. Like that, that would be his life. You know, therapy on trying to avoid and figure out what the triggers are so that he doesn't revert back to that. Uh, so, like Mona said, I would definitely have to get through my denial stage. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with my baby. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. There is something wrong um, for him to think in his head that it's normal to do this with um, younger boys, mm -hmm. you know, kids, um, even though he is a kid himself. Um, and I, for me personally, I probably, it would, be a rule like no children are allowed um, at my establishment ever none um, if I go to establishments where kids are going to be around my son would not be allowed to come because I wouldn't want to set off any triggers in him and I, I really would want to like I said I would want to get to know what it is that's triggering him that makes in his head he thinks that this is okay um that's that's kind of how I would handle it. But like Mona had already was starting to bring it up and I was getting ready to go there. Um, <sighs> Royce, to me, like she she dropped the ball. You know, she I don't know if it was for selfishness. You know, I don't know if it was I, I don't know what it is, but I know if I. If the man that I'm seeing has a son, a child, and I know that my son is doing things with younger minors and has issues with that, that's something that I think we should be letting the people that we're dating and getting to know, know up front, like, mm -hmm. hey, um, my son has issues. He can't be around other boys, especially young boys. So I just think that you need to know that so that they can make that informed decision like, eh, okay, I can deal with it. I'll just keep him separate. Or, nah, I'm cool with that because that shit is, you know, crazy. What, what do you think? I think she she's probably, and I'm not defending her, but I'm saying I'm just putting myself where she is. She's probably embarrassed, mm -hmm. number one. She probably, maybe she likes the guy and she's thinking, oh, my God, the minute I share this story, he ain't never going to want to be with me. 
Um, it's a lot of things that's probably going through her head. But once this is identified in your child, there's a lot of changes and a lot of sacrifices that you got to make yeah. for the sake of your child to, number one, get him the proper help that he needs to ensure that he doesn't harm anyone else. Because that type of stuff goes deep. This is stuff that people carry into their adulthood when stuff like this happens to, to mm -hmm. them, especially boys with another boys. They start to question their sexuality. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, it just gets so deep. And, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't until that I, I would think even once you do start letting him around other people, you have to be there to monitor that very closely. That's, yeah, I feel bad for her, but uh, she's got to make some tough decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Mona? What? Do you think that she's doing a disservice by not or by not informing or disclosing to, you know, a man that she's getting to know or date potentially dating with children about her son's Well, yeah. I already spoke on that. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's take it back for a minute. Mm -hmm. 2014. Royce Reed went to the authorities with a abuse charge against her. Baby daddy, mm -hmm. the White Howard. Mm -hmm. She said that he beat that little boy with a belt. Mm -hmm. And so he had to go up there and prove himself not to be an abuser. He said he did not know it was wrong to whoop a little boy with a belt because he had been whooped with a belt. Mm -hmm. And they dropped the charges mm -hmm. because they found no bodily harm. Mm -hmm. In addition, he asked for custody of his son. So my question would be, did the court drop the ball mm. when they denied him custody of his son because he told them that Royce Reed was an unfit mother? Mm. Did they disclose as to what he considered unfit? What was, what was she doing? No, he didn't disclose. Uh, I, I, they're not going to tell you all of yeah, that, but right. I'm just saying she filed abuse charges against him. Right. And now she's like, oh, this, these charges over here, I'm not guilty yeah. of this. I have nothing to do with that. Yeah. Somebody dropped the ball, like Nisha said. Yeah. You, you were concerned, so concerned about your baby daddy putting his hands on his son, you wouldn't give that little boy to him because he was your financial meal ticket. Uh, mm -hmm. But then you didn't keep a good enough eye on your own son. So, yeah, it's kind of looking like she might be an unfit mother, that mm -hmm. she really didn't care about that young man. She just needed that uh, child support because what, what does she actually do right now? Mm -hmm. You know, she needs that money and some... Women use their kids as pawns, and they don't care what they're really doing mm -hmm. as long as they're getting that check every month. Yeah. True. Yeah. I mean, that's that's true. Um, I think much like you said, uh, Mona, that therapy is needed for her as well. She's gonna, she You need a whole lesson on how to deal with a child that's dealing with these type of issues because clearly she's just still not monitoring him closely enough where he's now letting some, wanting to jack somebody else off or he no he makes he, them jack him off whew, yes. but see he can be acting out because he's missing his father he can be acting out because there's another man in his mother's life and he has a son that he brings his son with him and mm -hmm. he has a relationship with his son so like we say Therapy needs to happen, but we really need to get down to the bottom of things. So he might have, you know, used that little boy because he acting out because he hasn't seen his dad since 2020. Last time he talked to him, they had an argument, and his mama is out here with all these men. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. no time for him. Yeah. So we, we don't know what it is, but somebody needs to get down to the bottom of it, and she's absolutely guilty. Do you think there are some some moms that protect their sons, even though they know they got issues? Absolutely. Who wants to actually believe that their children are molesters? Are molesters mm -hmm. that they do Sexual bad things deviance. to other people? Yeah. You know, even if they steal, rob, sell mm -hmm. drugs, w women are in denial. No, mm -hmm. those are their babies, but still, 
when it comes to somebody else being harmed, then you're going to mm -hmm. have to do the difficult tasks and get your baby some help. Yeah. Exactly. And if you are in denial, why the hell are you letting people around them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because that helps expose mm -hmm. the situation. Yeah. Exactly. Soon as some little boy say, hey, wait a minute, I'm trying to Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Like exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Because I just think about, you know, how it's in common in families where a lot of us have experienced at the hands of somebody else being touched mm -hmm. inappropriately. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of times the elders knew and they would the only thing they would say is, you know, stay away, stay away mm -hmm. from this one or go this way or cover up or don't wear this around so and so. You know, it's like they knew, but they didn't tell you why, mm -hmm. you know, but they knew like. So and so like little like kids to sit on their lap. Ooh, so and so yeah. like you know they 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 a little touchy feely. So and so love for you to kiss them, you know, and just different things. And so I just think like you know, I I don't know. I a part of me is just a little frustrated and and disappointed with her because it's like you kind of was given a little chance mm -hmm. the first time exactly. when he got caught, and exactly. they was like, okay, you know, get him some therapy. And keep him away from other minors that are younger. And you still let it happen. Like, you still just, mm -hmm. while you sitting there doing all these these videos, because she do a hell of a lot of videos. Mm -hmm. While you doing all these videos, mm -hmm. your son can be in another room doing something inappropriate with somebody. Right. While you sitting there trying to, you know, shake your ass and shit. So, uh, I don't know. It just, it, it gets under my skin. Because now that other little baby, and probably the baby from before, now they got to get therapy. Now they probably got to figure out, you know, like, is there something going on with me? What's wrong with me? Because this little boy made me do this. And who who has everybody told? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, it might be some that have been touched and, and didn't say nothing to mm -hmm. their daddy or wh whomever. Mm -hmm. uh, other family members, cousins, you know, who's to say? I know I don't know what state this all happened Florida. in. Florida. Because I know that some of the rules for L.A. County is a little bit different when you have a child that's molested. DCFS requires that the parent also get some type of therapy mm -hmm. so that you know how to deal with um, the behaviors that's going to go along with this type of stuff, the yeah. triggers and all of that. So it's one of those things that it's a constant um, therapy and educating a person on it, monitoring almost to the point where you're paranoid, like every little thing, you know, yeah. and you don't want to get like that because it, 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 it probably hinders their healing. But at the same time, you, you don't have want nobody to. else to be hurt. Yeah. yeah. Question. When the first incident happened, did CPS come in and take him, remove him? They didn't say. At least I didn't see anything. And see, and, and, and see right there, because I'm listening to you. Right. She got lucky. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She <laughs> got lucky the first time. She got lucky the mm -hmm. first time if CPS she dodged the bullet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, 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 the little boy. Exactly. And sometimes for mothers, when children act out one time, they, they you know, push that under the rug. Yes. And, yeah. Oh, it wasn't as bad. Or mm -hmm. maybe his hand just slipped on the little mm -hmm. boy's pee-pee. Mm -hmm. And all the... I'm talking about pee-pee. Yeah. Pee -pee, pee -pee. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know, you know, maybe he, you know, it was an accident right. or, or whatever, and they, they just take curiosity. It real, yeah, we, we they took it real lightly, and and then they allow it to get deeper and deeper, mm -hmm. and one incident turns into two mm -hmm. and three and four, and like Nisha said, she's up here shaking her ass on videos, and he's in the room feeling neglected mm -hmm. and acting out. The next time anybody comes around me, mm -hmm. this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. It's very dangerous to leave it little is. children, you know, uh, isolated. Mm -hmm. Whether they be normal or abnormal, their minds mm -hmm. get to run and then he already has a problem. And he may not understand why he has to attend therapy. Wow. He may not understand what he did wrong, mm -hmm. that he did something wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. He may feel that everybody's picking on him and he, I'm not this monster that people are, you know, trying to pin me to be. And so, yeah, he needs to be in deep therapy. Right. I yeah. Agree. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is just something that I wanted to kind of touch on and talk about and, you know, get our thoughts on it. Um, I think, you know, as, as, as moms, if we, we owe it to our children to make sure they have what they need to be productive, successful children, and as well as adults. So when we see that um, there are some issues, like in this case, 
where he has a habit of doing things with young boys, it's on us to get him the help he needs so that he, one, understands that that's not okay. Two, understands that we need to figure out what's causing it or what's, 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 what's the trigger that makes him think that this is normal for him, normal behavior, and this is how he releases his anger. Because that's kind of what he said in the therapy th- to the therapist was that I was so angry, so I did this. And, mm. and, and what he did was make the boy, you know, jack him. And so we, we, need to, we need to be more mindful of our kids. We need to be more protective of our kids. And we also need to be more honest with our kids and those around, especially in situations like this, because... I know I would be embarrassed, but at the same time, the last thing I would ever want to Mm. be thrown at me is that I didn't disclose nor protect other kids that came around him, knowing that I knew the situation. And so now people are going to be looking at me like, you knew he had a problem, and yet you let me bring my children around you. Really? Mm. So now my kids got to walk around fucked up. And you knew this from day one instead of, you know, disclosing. So Mm. I think we need to kind of do better than that. Royce, you definitely dropped the ball. I think she needs to do better than that as a mom first um, instead of, you know, shaking ass on TV. Mm -hmm. Um, But what are your final thoughts? I say pay close attention to your kids. Make Mm -hmm. sure that they are being uh, monitored. Yes, there's that curiosity age where, let me see what you got, let me see what you got. But when it goes into this thing of touching somebody Mm -hmm. inappropriately, Um, You have a responsibility as a parent to make sure, number one, your kid is okay and that they're not harming other children. So when you have the card parties at the house and all the kids is in one room, make sure you're paying attention. Make sure somebody is in there checking on them kids because somebody in that room could could be harming them. And I I think sometimes we drop the ball um, and not paying closer attention, you know, uh, in my house, there's no privacy to that extent where you, we got doors closed. I need to see what's happening. Yeah. Uh, I think you need to pay, we need to pay close attention to our kids and we have some responsibility to them in making sure that if they suffer from something like this, that we get the help that they need, even if it includes us going to therapy along with them, mm-hmm. along, a, you know, family therapy or individual therapy, and you monitor them on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Because I am a mother of a son, Mm -hmm. and I love my son dearly, the first thing I would have to do is sit down with my son in love and have a very serious conversation with him about the manner in in the ways that he displays his anger. Mm -hmm. Him displaying his anger Anger in a sexual manner should be, or any child displaying their anger in a sexual manner should be a red flag that lets you know this is not normal. Mm -hmm. Kids get get angry. They hit somebody. Mm -hmm. They hit themselves. They break something. They cuss. You know, they act out. They steal something or whatever. But what needs to be found out is why he is acting out his anger in a sexual manner. Mm -hmm. And for me, I don't have time to be with no men. Mm -mm. I need to love on my son, wrap my arms around him. Like you guys say, get him all the help that Mm -hmm. he can get. Mm -hmm. Or I need him to be away from me so that he can get that information. I'm not going to hold on to my son so tightly that he does not get the help that he needs because that means I'm being selfish. I would have let his father yes. have him, even if I did not want to separate from my son beforehand. Something in me has to say, I cannot control this young exactly. man. Yes. I cannot get into his psyche to figure out what this young man is going through and it may be something beyond my control because I'm not a little boy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, hmm. I don't have anything else. Yeah. Me either. 
Well, this concludes our topic on Royce Reed. If you feel like, you know, you would like us to delve a little deeper or, you know, add more to it, please feel free to, you know, hit the comment section. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. For those who already have, we thank you and appreciate you. This is BGP and we are out. Bye.